<sighs> yes. Ah, what a beautiful day to be Tyrage 77. Mm, yes, October 31st. Time to release the Undead Legends. Ah, much to do. Let's see if Auntie's online. Tux, the Wild West detective here. It seems like Tyrage has finally awakened from his cocoon and slithered over to his kitchen to start cooking. And oh boy did he cook. Of course, it wouldn't be possible without the other developers as well. But anyways, Halloween 2023 has finally released after two delays. Yes, my video is two days late, that's because I wanted to make sure this video is the best it could be. Before we jump in, make sure to subscribe so we can reach 2,000 subscribers by 2024 it would mean so much to me. With all that stuff out of the way, let's talk about everything in Halloween 2023, Undead Legends. So the first thing we should talk about is how to start this event. Ride on over to the brand new church and talk to Pastor Everett. He's going to tell you all about his lore and how his father is making a machine to bring his dear mother back from the dead. However, you must learn more about this machine that his father has made. So he tells you to go talk to him. Like the gremlins you all are, you adventure down to the depths below and talk to the doctor himself. He says that you require some type of electric fuel source to power his machine. He's obviously talking about Thunderstruck items. Bring two to him. Once you bring these two items to him, he'll grab his son and start the machine. Everything's going good. Till it doesn't. The doctor gets sucked into the center and some type of electric field forms around him. Along with that, Zombies from all over the map rise from the grave. Even some familiar faces appear as well. The pastor tells you that to stop the machine, you must gather 50 vials of lightning essence and bring them to him. He gives you an extractor and some empty vials and sends you on your way. This is when the video will be split into sections discussing each item and how to get them. So hover over the video's progress bar to find which item you're looking for. Obtaining the flood lantern in this event shouldn't be too hard. All you need is a little luck. Run around the map and find any of these undead legends on screen right now. They all have a chance to drop them. It does seem like Zachariah drops them the most though. The jaw masking and bone warrior outfit are obtained in the same way. Run around the map looking for Hector. Once you find him, kill him and collect the outfit. The occult blade can be obtained from two NPCs. You can find Jane wandering around the map. You can attempt to slaughter her but it might not be the easiest thing to do. Or you can find Demon Hunter Carter, who has recently risen from the grave himself, and kill him as well. The Marauder is an NPC found at Sinners Canyon. He's not an undead legend. He uses his Spencer Carbine along with his Goiko Chain Pistol and Kukri to wipe enemies out. Be careful and take him out cautiously to obtain his mask. The occult shotguns from last year are back and better than ever. To obtain these shotguns this year, it's a little bit different. To obtain the occult mule shotgun, you have to bring Jane some Wendigo ribs. To obtain the occult sawed off shotgun, you must slaughter Jane and get lucky. The occult outfit and lightning recurve bow are both really cool rewards. To obtain these, you must defeat the first lady and her group of Wendigo cultists. They spawn at the abandoned tribal camp. Best of luck. This snazzy red and black outfit is obtained by giving Jane some Wendigo ribs. This outfit can also be obtained by killing her partner, Carter. Just like the last few years, the Wendigo is back and is about the same as ever. There's one different thing though. This year, he drops his ribs for some reason. But just like the past few years, he drops his mask and holster again. The Skinwalker is a brand new demon-esque creature added to the Wild West. To fight this horrid beast, you must gather the blood of a deer, bison, and bear in one place at night. Run as much as you want. This terrifying beast packs a devious punch. If you manage to slaughter the beast, you'll be rewarded with its jaw, skull, and one of its bones. With the goodies that you obtained by defeating the Skinwalker, you need to head on over to Little Rock Reservation and trade the bones for some excellent rewards. The jaw gives you the Skinwalker spear, the bone gives you the Skinwalker bow, and the skull gives you two masks. One is an animal mask, and the other is a bone mask. This one requires a lot of patience and time. To obtain the Thunderstruck hair and mustache, you must literally get struck by lightning. It's a very rare occurrence though, so good luck. 
Once you obtain all 50 vials of lightning essence by stealing them from the undead, rush back to the pasture and give it to him. You'll turn off the machine, the doctor follows you to the floor, and the pasture gives you the mad scientist outfit and Model 3 lightning. A more zany and crazy version of the Model 3. This is most of the stuff in the Undead Legends event, however there is still more to cover. Sometimes you can see a UFO travel across the map. If a lightning storm isn't going on, you'll see it just pass by and leave. However, if you do have a lightning storm, the UFO will get struck by lightning and crash. If you head to that location, you'll meet some aliens. Murder the aliens to obtain a laser cannon. This cannon will drop on death, but it's very powerful and can do some heavy damage. The saloon music has changed to a more spooky song, which is a total bop by the way. Bronze has become decorated and looks amazing. Trees have a fall theme and are different colors. The normal Model 3 has been revamped and is looking much better. The Egg Temple features plaques referencing old managers. Thank you so much for watching. I know this video is a bit late, but I really wanted to get it done and make it very good. I once again kindly ask you to subscribe so we can reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But for now, could this be a fluke or something more? Keep on searching, detectives! And remember, there's always something to uncover in the Wild West.